Tom Holland says, which team is the furthest away from the next premiership? Uh, I'd say Tigers. I'd say the Tigers. I think the Bulldogs are at least trying to make improvements, but they're making really weird buys and trades. But I'd say the Tigers are because they're not in a terrible... They're, not, they're in a very terrible situation where you don't know about them going forward. They have no real halves. Their fullback, Dan Laurie, see how long he lasts there. Is he overrated? Is he not? I think he's a good fullback. He had a good tackle today, but in the same sense, they're currently beating 26 0 in the first half. They've got a long way to go on their rebuild. They've got no number nine. Their forwards are shit house, and their backs aren't great either. So I think out of all the teams, out of all 16 teams, I'd say the Tigers are the furthest away from a premiership. Yeah, I'd say the Tigers are, are, are well and truly furthest away. You know, you could make an argument for the Bulldogs, but in the same sense, they are making weird signings. They are. They're making weird signings that maybe could help them going into the future and change a few things around. Get a bit of Punk like Junior in your life, you know. Burton may do well there. Adam Carmichael to fullback might be great in a fullback role. You might see the Bulldogs start to make a bit of a roll on. The Broncos, you know, they've got Payne Haas, they've got Tony Staggs, they've got Adam Reynolds next year. Yes, they've got a lackluster um, spine with no real nine, no real six, and no real fullback. But in the same sense, they may improve that. The Tigers are the next team on the chopping block. And I can't tell you a positive about this team, besides maybe Dan Laurie, because their halves are horrific. You know, I don't mean to publicly slaughter individual players like Brooks and Embi, but they're not at the level of being a top eight team at all. You know, Little is nowhere near at the, at the level of being a top eight team. And Dan Laurie is the only player there. And the Tigers are infamous for getting rid of their best players. They've lost Tedesco over the years. They've lost Marika Corbetti, who plays for the Wallabies. You know, they've lost... Um, who, who who else have lost? Aaron Woods, who was good in his day. You know, there was was Marty Tapao there at one stage, uh, who's killing it for Manly. You know, there's Addo Carr, who was at the Storm and out the, who's going to the Dogs next year. There's more. There's there's a long a lot more. There's a lot more players that I'm not saying. So that I can't think of right now. But Dane Laurie, how long does he last there if the Tigers continue to be at this level right now? Because there are other teams like the Broncos who might be like, you know what, if Sarko and Tessie New aren't working out here, Sarko definitely doesn't work out there in fullback. They might be like, Tessie New's not working out here. Maybe we'll give you Tessie New. We'll take Dan Laurie and we'll give you an extra bit of money. Because trades are starting to happen in, in rugby league, guys. Trades are starting to happen. We saw that with the Storm last year, with Storm and Tigers, uh, you know, with Momorowski and stuff like that. We are starting to see the inclusion of trades. So I'm just saying going to the future, we're going to be seeing a lot more of them. We're going to be seeing a lot more of them. But if, I, if I'm wrong here, please let me know. You know, please let me know. Let me know in the chat. This is just my opinion. I just think, because you asked me, which team is the furthest away from winning the premiership, Gordon Holland said. And, and, and my answer is the Tigers, because you can at least see some positives in the Bulldogs and Broncos. I can't see one besides Dan Laurie, and that's still a tentative one. Because that's only a fullback. You need a lot more than just a fullback. Danny Mavis says, Blaze, who do you reckon is the biggest club in Sydney? Rabbitus. 